página. A las ocho y ocho, no. ¡Ey, hola! ¡Ay, teacher! ¡Teacher! Aún no. ¿Qué ha pasado a ti? No, teacher. Todavía no podemos escucharlo. Es que no está. You can, you can está? test. Ah, sí está. está. Oh. Teacher, you can test your audio. Okay, how can I test it? Oh, yeah, I finally, I, I hear you. All right, all right. <laughs> yeah, the indeed. teacher went to see the national shame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. The, uh, you know, like, uh, I was checking the, the internet, and uh, it's not giving me any signal. So what I did, I put, I activated hotspot from my cell phone. That's how I'm working right now. Is All right. <laughs> okay, so we today is May 5th. Sorry for the inconvenient. Um, do you remember the topics uh, we covered yesterday? Do you remember the topics? The comparative. Yes, comparatives of, of um, short and long adjectives. Do you remember how to make the comparatives? Uh, adjective. adjective too much. Uh, as. Okay. As and as, just as. Okay, so you can say an apartment is usually as not expensive as a house. You are comparing, you are um, giving information about two different things. So you say that an apartment doesn't cost as much as a house. Or an apartment is usually not as big as a house. So you're, you're comparing two different things and um, you're using as, you use the adjective, and then you say as again. Um, what else did we do? What else did we do, people? The other thing is, um... Uh, the, 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 the beer, the bear is uh, when you need to add, add the ER. Okay. For example, big is not to put the, the, the more, more or, or, or other yes. word to compare it. Exactly. Superlatives and superlatives. Yes, uh, when we're doing comparatives, um, like, like you were saying, if it's a short adjective, you're supposed to say bigger, smaller, faster, cheaper. If the adjective is long, then you need to say more beautiful, more dangerous, more expensive. And that is one of the, one of the topics that we will uh, reinforce today. Um, are there I, any? Uh -huh. I I I used to uh, find the, the uh, some information about that. Okay. I I I I, I don't know if I wrong, but for example, uh, the the short bird is a or adjective short adjective is not to add uh, for example a negative sentence okay for example you can say uh, the apartment aren't bigger than the the house for example or, or, or other thing you okay. need to you need to use us Big as apartment, okay. Or whatever you do, okay. Uh, there are different forms of of how you can compare different things, Samuel. 
uh, you can say houses are usually bigger than apartments, but we know that some apartments are expensive. They're usually big. They're in nice areas. Uh, but you can also say the second one you were using, apartments as not, are not as big as houses. So you can use the comparative form in, uh, in different uh, ways. And the two ways are different. The two ways are acceptable. Yeah, and, and, and the ne ne negative form, in, we don't no, do to use to the, the, the superlative form, the, the adjective. Right, right. You, yeah. you can also use the superlative. Um, we're gonna see that I think <coughs> next week, um, but maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I'm, I'm not sure yet. But you can also use superlatives when you're including three things or more. Okay, okay. Yes. All right. Uh, does anybody else have any other questions or comments? No? No. All right. So I'm going to send you an exercise. Hold on. Um, to the WhatsApp chat. Okay. There. All right. Let's see. Eight to nine PM. Did, were you able to receive the image that I just sent you? No, yet. No. Not yet. Okay. Let's see what the problem is. It might be the internet. You got the, the image? Yeah. Yes. We have the image. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you... Um, you guys are going to be using comparatives in these sentences. Uh, you're going to have to use too, enough, too much, or too many. Remember that too much is when you're talking about something that is non-countable, and too many is when something is countable. So I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. Okay. Hold on. Breakout rooms, 12. So I'm going to make six pairs. You guys can work in pairs, all right? Yeah. All right. I'm here. Okay, uh, Samuel, I mean, Arling and Luis, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, Luis, can you hear me? Luis, Luis. Hold on. Let me check. Hold on, um, Arlene. He's gone. He's gone, huh? But you appear as if you are not joined. I think the internet is giving us issues. Uh, I think so. Yep. Let's see. Because you're supposed to be working with Elizabeth Alvarez. I don't know what happened. 
Okay, let me check. Send you to room one. Can you hear me, Arlene? Hearing yeah. is, 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 is the correct calefacción. Yeah. Yeah, the calefacción. Uh, so it's too hot in too here? Much, it's too oh, much hot. You have to tell the teacher? Yes. Okay, okay. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good night. Uh, I'm new. I was sick the last week. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, Did you receive the image that I sent to the group? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, at WhatsApp? In WhatsApp? Uh -huh. yeah. At WhatsApp? I yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah, the WhatsApp group. <laughs> yes. And I, I don't know what um, to complete that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Could you explain? Could you play uh, her with the strategy, the mechanic for the the group or the four group for the discussion in the different exercise or example? Yes. Uh, I saw I saw a video. Okay. Early. Early. Okay. Early. Yes. All right. Uh, and so what so, we're doing? What we're doing in this moment, Maricela? Um, the the image that I sent you to the WhatsApp chat. You're yes. supposed to, as you can see, every sentence has a blank. Uh, you're supposed yes. to decide if the correct form is too okay. enough, too much, or too many. But, so we're, uh, we're comparing. Okay, okay. Yeah. We only tell you. Uh, you, you work with uh, Pedro, huh? Yes, yes. Pedro, but so. we don't we don't need to complete. All, all so. you have to do oh, is, okay. is talk about the sentences okay. and give the right okay. answer. I understand that. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sure. Pedro. Okay. Work. <laughs> yes. Uh... Okay. <laughs> it's difficult. Sorry. Um. I think it's and not study enough class. Enough class. Don't study enough late tonight. Yes, because the other two I don't study much. Late okay, no. I think it's now. We are done. Okay. It's the best option, I think. Are you guys doing the exercise? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Okay, let me, me not. Check. I was alone. Okay, let's check this here. Uh, who said it was alone? Who was alone? Me. Oh, you, you were alone, so you were just listening to Antonio and Aileen. Mm, I don't know. I was alone. Okay. I think I think she just she just Join. entered to the, to the session. Oh, so. okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's return to the main session. Got it. Do you have any questions about the exercises? Uh, I need a volunteer for letter B. Uh, teacher, I have a doubt. Yes, sir. A question, a question. A question. Yes. About the letter D, I have 
Can you switch off the heating? It's too much or too many? No, it's too hot in here. Too hot. Too hot. Too too hot. hot. Yes, only the word too. Ah. Oh. Because I and the you... letter E. Uh huh. Now that you are eighteen, you are to you are you are enough or old enough. Old enough. Oh yeah. Take yeah. your driving test. Oh, all right. Yes. That's the question that I have. Okay, good. What about letter B? What's the answer for letter B? Uh, too much. Too much people. Can you count people? Too many. Too many. Uh, too yeah. many is better. What about letter C? We want to form a rugby team, but we don't have enough. Enough. Okay, so D and E, what about letter F? As usual, he's had... What? He had... Too much beer. Too much. Too, much, Too beer. much beer. What about letter G? Do you think we should buy some more food for the party? I'm not sure we've got... Enough. 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 What about letter H? I can't come out this evening because I've got... Too many. Too many, very good. What about letter I? You had to write a 200 word composition, but this one has over 300 words. So there is, so Too much. there are... Enough. There are... Too much. There are too much. And the last one, don't study. Too much. Um, too late tonight. Too late. Oh. Too late, too late. Too late tonight, yes. Okay. Um, any questions about the first exercise? No. No. Right, so oh, let's no. see, where is this, um, this is it. Can you see that? Uh, no, Can not yet. See? Not yet, okay, hold on, let's give me a second. Share screen. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. All right. So yesterday we were doing something similar um, related with evaluations and comparisons. Um, some of the sentences we were doing yesterday, we were using adjectives. In other cases, we were using nouns. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you see the first two, apartments aren't big enough for families and apartments are too small for pets. So there you're talking about sizes. So you use a verb to be um, to express how big or how small something is then you have the following two sentences uh oh. comparisons with adjectives oh. you say houses aren't as convenient as apartments so um you're saying there that apartments are more convenient than houses and then you have the other one houses are just as convenient as apartments so houses and apartments are exactly the same according to those, uh, to that particular sentence. Then we go to the third uh, uh, space, we can call it, and we say apartments don't have enough parking spaces and houses cost too much money. Once again, you're using nouns to compare houses with apartments. And then the last one, you have comparisons with nouns. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Uh, you're saying they have the same number of rooms, or you can say apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. 
So what you're saying, the last sentence is that houses have more privacy than apartments. Um, are there any questions with those examples there? No, no, no. Okay, is, is, are the examples clear? Are the examples clear, class? Yes, it is. Yes. yes, they are. Okay, so let me let me show you this. Knowledge check three point five. Give me a second. Shouldn't get. Me cuentan. Three point five. All right, three point five. We're gonna have a knowledge check. Probably you already did this. Okay, so let's check the first question. Which is correct? Number three. Number three. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartment in my neighborhood. Okay. Uh, do you agree with Pedro? Do you agree that number three is the best answer? Let me check. In my opinion, how is it hard expensive? In my opinion, how is it hard expensive? The second one. Yes. Or the third one. I think that is the second. Okay. No, it's the, it's the three. Number three. Yeah, three. Num number three is the best the option. The three. Yes, number three is the best option. Let's check the second one. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house. Number three. Again. Number three. Yeah. Okay, number three again. Okay, good. What about number three? I don't like to live in apartments because they. Number one. one. Number one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, one. they don't have as many rooms as houses. Number one is correct. And we have number four. My new house doesn't have... As much. Enough. As much. Enough. Okay. As so, enough. As enough. That's my old house. Okay. So, so my new house doesn't have... Enough enough space as my old house yes do you agree with that one yes don't, ha don't have enough space doesn't um, have yeah. enough space yeah doesn't be like as much space as my old house as much space as my old house that is a possibility too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, as, as much as much space as my old house. As my old house. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is one. Uh, that's another possibility too. All right. Um, anything else? Are we okay with these exercises? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. when when you're expressing wishes, when you are hoping, expecting for things to be better, uh, there is one particular structure that we use. Does anybody remember that structure? Can you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay, so according to the image, 
uh, what is the form, what is the structure that we're supposed to use? The subject plus which plus subject plus bearing the past plus complement. Okay, good. So whether the information, whether the wish is positive or negative, you have to use the past form of the verbs. Mm -hmm. Now look at the first example. I live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had my own apartment. So like I said, whether the information is positive or negative, here you see the first one, it's negative. The second one is positive. It doesn't matter if you're using positive or negative, you always use the simple past form to express wishes. Now look at the other one. I can't move out. I wish I could move out. Now remember that could is the past tense of can. So yes. you want to say me gustaría poder hacer whatever, you have to use uh, could. Now look at this one, life is difficult. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. Now when you're talking about verb to be, you must use verb, uh, you must use were for all personal pronouns. How do you say, me gustaría que no estuviera lloviendo? I wish, I wish, I wish it were, it were rain. rain. It's better rain. rain. Uh -huh. I wish it weren't raining. It weren't raining. It weren't raining. Uh -huh. How do you say, me gustaría que no estuviera haciendo calor? I wish it were in. I weren't Good. Good. I wish it weren't hot. Now, do you swear if, if on behalf of was? Uh, yes, you use were. I uh, wish it wasn't uh, Well, I, that's what I was going to say. In a real conversation, in a movie, in music, whatever, you will, uh, you will hear, I wish she was here. I wish she weren't here. She wasn't here. But grammatically speaking, you're supposed to use were for all personal pronouns. Okay. Okay. Right? Now, if we analyze the last, okay. uh, the last two, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Now, you wish to change that? You say, I wish they would stop worrying about me. Because from want, you go to uh, would, and that's how you make uh, uh, changes. Okay, uh, do you have any questions? Any questions so far? No, 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 it's all right. Clear. So, after the explanation, so we got wishes, we got wishes here. Check this here. All right. Um, Check this here. All right, so I'm going to assign you in groups again. Um, do you see the image that I have in the computer? Yes. yes. All right. Uh, I send it to your WhatsApp group. If you don't like the WhatsApp group, you can take a, a, a screenshot from your computer, from your cell phone, 
And let me see this here. Breakout rooms. All right, here we go. Here we go. Hi. Hello. Let's see this here. Live. So we are going to convert in the bar in the past. I think. Yeah, the second one they wish they have not had not a test ah. today. Uh, the teacher is talking. Teacher. Teacher, no. He's gone. <laughs> John wishes that he... I don't understand. Yes, we are uh, We are going to pass the, the verb in the past. Not have, have not, or not have. John wishes that he knew New yeah. how to speak Spanish. Yeah. Uh, number four, it's rainy. I wish I I had not 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 how to go out now. My friend wishes she lives in Tokyo. Yeah. Make it, make yeah, make it. Some yeah, more noise. Okay. Nice. Did it make so much? I think this one it would be like with the did and make as the example of the of the of them. Which is she? Didn't didn't lie in Tokyo. Live, 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 lived, yeah, lived, lived in Tokyo. Uh, number six, I wish that my neighbor uh, didn't make so much noise. It's not in Florida. Yeah, it was okay. not. It's not. It's no in Florida. Number 11, I think we should travel this summer. I wish the pass of snow. I'm going uh, to. What is snow? Snow? Snow. Snow, nieve. Yeah. Nevo. Yeah, pass of sea. Which number is that? Um, 10. All right, number 10 says, I've never seen the snow. I wish it snowed. It snowed with ED at the end. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should travel this summer. I wish that you, I don't know, agree. I wish that my neighbors didn't make and didn't make uh, so so much noise 
Ah, my friend in the five one, the fifth one. Yes. My friend wishes she didn't live. Oh no. My friend wishes she live. I wish it is snow. I wish it in Florida. I wish it. I wish it wedding. Word. Wedding is no. Which number? I don't think it's like number 10. But I have I never seen snow. I wish I it snowed in Florida. Snowed. Why do you use the, the form, the past form of the verb? Uh, because when you're expressing wishes, that is the form that uh, we're supposed to use. You're supposed to use the past form of the verb, but there is no connection with it. There is no connection with the past. It's just as you're borrowing the, 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 the simple past form to express a wish. Okay. Yep. So that's the... Yeah, whenever you are... Uh, like right now, it, it's it's raining in Lourdes. If I yes. wish different, I said, I wish it didn't rain right now. Or I wish it weren't raining. So I have to use the past form. Okay. Okay. So, yes. But you're not, you're not, you're not using always it didn't. Excuse me? It, 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 you use didn't when it's something that is uh, happening in the moment. Right. Or you can also say word. Like this. Word. That I was okay. explaining. You can say didn't or you can say weren't. Word. Yes. Okay, thanks. That's only when, when the action is happening in the moment. Right. But or, the or, or imagine that it's really hot right now and you wish it were raining, you would say, I wish it rained. Okay. So you go from positive to negative, negative, positive, you always have to use the simple past form. Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. I can hear you. Can I? Do you make a question? Yesi, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, she's there. Yes. Okay. I think I'm having problems with my internet connection. Sometimes I hear. You. Yeah, it, it happens. Right now, I don't have any internet, so I'm giving hotspot from my cell phone to the computer. So it happens sometimes. Yeah. All right. Benjamin. Can you hear can me, you... Ben? Hello, can you hear me now? Sure, sure I can hear you. I, I noticed that you were alone. Yeah, I'm alone because I guess Elizabeth, she's gone. Okay. Fine, good. Did we were we were uh, talking about the the sentence. Okay. Complete, complete the sentence uh, uh, from the number one until fourteen. But okay. I I have a question in yes, sir. number four. It's it's raining. I wish I we are. Uh, we, uh, I can converse. They have to and not have to at the same form. Or I'm going to put the verb at the end. Okay, so it says, it's raining. I wish I didn't have to go outside now. I it, didn't it, have to, oh, okay. Yes, so yeah. it doesn't matter if you're going from positive to negative or negative to positive. You always have to use the past structure of the verb okay. and and there is no connection with the past that is just the, the structure that we um, 
we borrow and we use it when we're talking about wishes. Okay. Yes. So you, you're the one that takes care of your son, huh? Benjamin? Oh. You you're the one that takes care of your son. No? Okay. Do you do you have children? Yes, I have. How many do you have? Uh, only one. Uh, but uh, he's right now doing the exercise by school. Oh, okay. She's, yes. What grade is he in? He's, um, he's uh, four years old. Oh, four years old? Yeah. Little? A little kid. Yes, yes. But it's, it's a problem to 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 take a class because uh, he is right now doing the homework. Okay. Yeah. And is he connecting with, um, uh, with the teacher every day or how is the work? You know, uh, the teachers every day or every Monday, he send uh he sends the homework uh -huh. at the the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah. So your the son is, is 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 in that group. Yeah. So I I take the classes and I help I help him uh, to do the homework. And after I I send the the homework. Uh, to email. All right, to the teacher's email. Yeah, to the teacher's email. Okay, good, good. So are, are you doing home office right now? No, I still work in a prison show. Oh, okay, all right. And you work yeah, in Sykes, you said? No, I am I'm working in a call center, a Bianca's call center. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Santa yeah, Lena. but yes but the service is in portuguese okay but you have to go to the santa Elena branch no i the location is in front of the, i don't know who is teenage university okay it's oh. it's nearby Torrecus catlan Okay. I don't know if you know what is. Yeah, I, isn't that Avianca? No. It's a Bianca call center, but is Getcom. Getcom. Oh, Getcom. One link. Or, or one link international. Uh, the city is a call center, but the account is Avianca. The principal account uh, that they ha they have is Avianca. Okay. All right. Good. All right, let's return to the main session, Benjamin. Okay, let's go. All right. Thank you. Sure. Did you have the chance to finish the exercises? Yes. Are there yes, any questions? Do. Are there any questions about the exercises? From my part, not just yet. Not from your part. Okay. So, um, if you want to express wishes, what is the structure you're supposed to use? Be the noun. On the subject, uh huh, and the verb subject and the past form of the verb, uh huh, and okay. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so imagine it's a Sunday morning, uh, you're sleeping really nice, and the alarm goes off, and then you say to yourself, Me gustaría no tener que trabajar los domingos. How will you say that? I wish I well, 
I were uh, I weren't working on Sunday. Okay, I wish what? I weren't working on Sunday. I wish I didn't work on Sunday. You can use the simple past or you can use the past continuous. It really doesn't matter. Uh, just make sure that you're using a uh, past structure. Got it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All okay, right. We got it. Okay, how, how do you say, me gustaría no vivir en los urdes? Oh. I wish I didn't I wish. live in los urdes. Yeah. Okay, I wish I didn't live in los urdes. Yes. Why? No, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm happy with my, with my house. I'm happy, the, t -shirt. I'm, I'm happy at the place that I am. It you was know, just, you, you love your life. You love your own life. What do you I mean? love my life. I love my house. <laughs> How do you say me gustaría tomar más agua? I wish. I wish. Life. I like. No, no, no. I wish. She's I, drink. She's I drink. wish. Okay. Remember I the, the form. The form of the verb has to be in past. I wish. Wrong. I wish. Okay, I what is the past I... tense of drink? Drunk. Drunk. Drink. 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 Drunk. Drunk. Drink. Drink. Drunk. Uh -huh. So we're using Drink. the simple past. So you say, I Drink. wish I drank more water. Drink. More water. Drink. Yes. I wish I drank more water. So remember, whenever you're using a, a, a Whenever you're expressing a wish, you have to use the the past change the verb. Yes. Change the verb. Change the verb. Yes, you have to change it. That's mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, any questions or any comments? Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> just just whenever you're you're expressing a wish, just use the past form of the verb, and that's it. Yeah. What is yeah. the past tense of read? Red. Red. Yeah. Uh, so how do you say me gustaría leer más el periódico? I wish I, I, I read, uh, read more the newspaper. More yeah, newspaper. I wish I read the newspaper more. I, uh, yeah. uh, okay. I, I wish I read the newspaper more. Uh -huh. I, have a, I have a question. Yes, sir. It's a... Uh, the 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 bear only shines when I uh, yeah, I we, uh, I will use wish in positive. No, but, not necessarily. Uh, oh, okay. So the, the sentence can be positive or negative, and you always have to use the past form of the verb. Oh, okay. okay. So imagine that I spend two hours reading the newspaper. And uh, let's say my son doesn't like it. I would tell you, I wish I didn't read the newspaper. And it's a negative wish. Okay. okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to stop here. We continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Thanks for your time. And uh, okay. have a good night. good night. See you, teacher. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Everyone. See you later. Bye-bye. Good night.